here, here was the secret revelation to me for impact. It was the guy who was the football hero, the valedictorian of our class, the class president. He'd already been accepted into the Air Force Academy. Big guy on campus, right? Superstar. You probably had one in your community, right? Everybody drooled over this guy. And he just happened to be in one of my little sessions where I was singing my sad songs. And I remember still to this day, we walked out on the porch afterwards, and Tom came up to me the big super football hero and said, you changed my life. Now, I don't think for a minute that I probably changed his life. But in that moment, I thought, what if I did? What if I did change that guy's life? And what if he went out on some battlefield leading troops into, uh, into war or something like that? And something that I said that changed his life affected the course of history. Who knows what would have happened? And I realized in that moment, I think, that we all have an impact, whether we want to or not. You know, it would be really nice if we didn't have an impact. Uh, that would mean you could kick the dog out of your way. It wouldn't make any difference, right? You could say all the insulting things that you wanted to to your mother-in-law or <laughs> whoever it is that really offends you. Um, you could eat whatever you want. It wouldn't make any difference because you wouldn't have an impact, right? So... Uh, the truth is, though, that we do have an impact. And if you're a mother, for instance, and you do nothing with your kid, that has a devastating impact, right? We see that in cases of child abuse, you know, and things like that. If, if people do nothing, uh, that's just a horrendous impact. So we can't use the excuse that we don't have an impact because we have an impact on thousands and thousands of people that we touch every single day. And I kind of have this personal quest, and the quest is because of the fact that I know that I have an impact on thousands of people, I think that I ought to have a good impact instead of a bad impact. And I think that if we have the art, the science, the technology to know how to move ideas, products, and services around the globe, if we can leverage all of the powers of persuasion, the the viral techniques of, of leverage that we know about that uh, can impact millions of people, literally millions and millions of people if we really work at it, then we ought to take those steps to spread good stuff in the world because the good things in life can be spread just as easily as the bad things. And conversely, the bad things can be spread just as easily as the good things. I'd like to see more good stuff get out there.